So this isn't going to be another bullshit guide where I try and sell you on my private community or become a Tiege Hanley ad four minutes in. I'm going to tell you exactly how I went from being arguably medium ugly and settling in life to turning down more women in the past year than I ever have before. Firstly, I'm going to do some assuming and say that you're a man between 15 and 25 and you clicked on this video because you either want to feel better about yourself or, let's be real, because you want to pull girls. And you think being a pretty boy will help you do that. It does. <laughs> Most people don't think that your attractiveness can be changed other than puberty. I proved them wrong. And here's the crazy thing. I'm not special. I'm going to give you the exact steps I took to go from this to this without any bullshit. So this is the hierarchy of importance. Each of these are areas you can focus on to become more pretty boy. First of all, the most important is hair. Because one, it's the easiest to change. Two, it's also the most impactful. So how do you find hair that actually suits you? First thing is go find celebrities who are like you. And by like you, I don't just mean celebrities that you like, I mean celebrities that have a similar hair texture, hair density, and face shape to you. One of my favorites is Harry Styles, because we've got some thick ass hair and square ass heads. Get haircuts as often as you need. If you have longer hair like me, it's every one to three months. If you have short hair, go every two to three weeks. And shampoo every other week. Now I know that sounds crazy. Am I a disgusting freak? Nah, my hair looks great all the time and it's because I almost never shampoo. Right now you're stripping the oils out of your hair that are natural and make it actually look good. And as soon as you stop shampooing so often, it's not gonna be so dry and frail and it will look more healthy. And you're saying, oh, Luke, I can't do it. My hair is way too oily. But yeah, right now, once your hair gets used to not being shampooed as often, your scalp is not gonna produce as much oil. It's going to produce a normal amount. Right now you have to get through the rough patch of having oily hair. To do that, buy dry shampoo. It's literally like eight freaking bucks at a drugstore, dude. Use dry shampoo until you don't need it anymore, which will probably be a couple weeks. Literally in the morning, if your hair looks too greasy, just spray it at the roots and basically rub it around until you don't see it anymore. You wanna use the right products for your kind of style. So if you want a natural look, go for a clay, a wax, or a fiber. If you want more of a polished look, which uh, you can, go for a gel or a pomade. The secret to have more texture and volume in your hair is one sea salt spray. This is going to make your hair a little bit more wavy. My hair is naturally pretty straight, but by using sea salt spray, I'm able to get it wavy and it's also going to be a lot more voluminous this way. Also, if you want to have hair that looks really healthy, start using two drops of argan oil and massaging it into your scalp every time after you use shampoo. Go to a stylist, a stylist for natural cuts. Only go to a barber if you're getting a fade and ask your stylist how to best care for and style your hair. The next most important is skin. You want that freaking porcelain baby yummy tasty skin. And there are two things that are gonna give you that. One is having a skincare routine. The best one is simple. It's one that you're gonna be able to stick to every day. It's just cleanser and moisturizer. Using a cleanser and a moisturizer literally makes you glow because you are stripping away all of the dirt and gross stuff that happens on your face throughout the day. And literally like grease from your fingers, taking that all away. And then once that is stripped, you have to re-moisturize your skin because you just stripped all the oil and good stuff out of it too. And there are people out there saying that skincare routines don't do shit. <laughs> I beg to differ. Speaking of which, add acne products if you need it. So that's the main things that you should have. Cleanser, moisturizer, and in the middle between those two is one acne product if you need it. I'm not a doctor, but see if Accutane works for you if you're struggling like I was, because that's the only thing that would work for me. The second part of skin is having a good diet because that's a huge part of how clear your skin is. I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to clean up your diet in this video. There are a lot of smarter people out there to watch than me for that. Try and eat 10% more clean every week. You don't need me to explain to you what a clean food is versus a nasty poo-poo food. You know the difference, bro. Next is teeth. The hallmark of an attractive person is a good smile. So brush twice, twice a day. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Twice a day. All right. Use teeth whiteners as often as you can until your teeth are white. And by as often as you can, I mean literally read the back and see how often you can use it without messing up your teeth. I think most of them are once every six months. I'd say invest in the most effective ones because you're literally investing into an asset, right? If you invest in the ones that are three times more expensive, but they get you teeth that are whiter three times faster, you just paid the same price and you just skipped all the time. You needed until you got there. And your teeth are literally an asset, bro. Having a great smile is going to win you so many freaking favors in this life. 
in a world that is as ruled by appearances as we are in. Having great teeth is an asset. This is a Grenoble secret right here. Use hydrogen peroxide diluted half with water as mouthwash daily. It takes a few months, but it whitens your teeth and it keeps them white even after you be drinking nasty ass black coffee, bro. Couldn't be me. Next is your style. So there are many different varieties of pretty boy. What you need to do is find an archetype that you like on Pinterest, a kind of pretty boy that you like on Pinterest, and go to Goodwill to find similar clothes. One, because they're cheap as hell. Two, because you're also going to have unique style, right? You're not just wearing what everybody else is wearing. You're wearing stuff that everyone else's grandpa's wearing. For your body, shave everything. The clean look is essential here. It reveals your aesthetic figure. Also, I don't, do I even have to say this, bro? Shower every day, man. Shower every day, use deodorant. Stop using Axe, brother. I don't know if you know this, but Axe body spray actually just sucks all of the moisture out of any coochie. Just like that. I say just use Scentbird. I'm not sponsored by them, but I used them for about a year and got a really good idea of what kinds of scents and colognes I actually liked and I didn't have to pay hundreds of dollars for one scent that I ended up not liking after a month. Try them out for like three or four months, pick your favorite cologne that you got and just buy a big bottle of it. In terms of your face, also shave that, baby face it, or you can have a slight stash stubble here. But none of that long freaking, none of that scraggly ass patchy beard, bro. Come on, we both know it's not working. Shave that shit. Next, and very last, as you might be able to tell, is muscle. You must be lean, but with some muscle to pull off this look. The reason that muscle is last is because you can pull this off as someone who doesn't have muscle, and a lot of people do. But if you have that little bit, it's gonna put you just way over the top. But you can't be a jacked bodybuilder type dude. You literally have to be just not a wet cigarette boy. You still gotta be lean, you just can't look like your breakfast was a fruit by the foot. <laughs> that was good. So pick any workout routine, literally any one of them, and just start. You can do it from home. Just do it over and over again, and beginner gains will sort you out. The biggest thing here is just becoming consistent with doing one workout. Most of these aren't a quick fix, but you didn't click on this video because you're afraid of work. You clicked on it because you're tired of living the life that you are living now and you want to become the most attractive version of yourself. You want to feel confident. You want to feel amazing in your own skin. Every time you look in the mirror, you want to feel like you want to kiss that motherfucker. As life-changing as it's going to be for you to build your attractiveness, you also have to realize there is another side to it. While this guide would perform better if I told you that your attractiveness was all that you needed, I'd rather tell you the truth. Before I was a pretty boy, I had friends, I had a girlfriend, and I was still happy. Because attractiveness gets you attention, it gets your foot in the door. But what you also need to bring you the confidence, women's success, and happiness that you are looking for is self-love, self-awareness, and becoming confident no matter your appearance. As you work on the outer side, you start to work on the inner side too. And when you have both, brother, <laughs> you become fucking unstoppable.